Hello there. You may have seen images like this, either being used on videos or on social media, and you're wondering where such images are coming from. You are welcome to this video today, where we are going to be learning about Blue Willow AI, which helps you to generate such images. Blue Willow AI is a free AI artwork generator, and it can help you generate logos and characters to digital artwork and photos just by describing the image you want and the AI image generating tool helps create a perfect graphic for your project and it is all free and that is the beauty of it that Blue Willow is free. Now to use it you simply come to bluewillow.ai and if you can just look at their gallery once you click on gallery you can see the kind of images that you are able to generate using bluewillow.ai. You can see all these images and all these are just generated using bluewillow.ai. And so in this tutorial, that is exactly what we are going to be showing you how to create such images using bluewillow.ai, which is free. So to create such images, you simply come to bluewillow.ai and then you click on join the free beta. The blue willow indicates that it is in the beta development stage, but still it is able to generate such nice and great looking images. So you click on join the free beta and it brings you to this site where you can now register. So you can put your email there and you click on continue if you do not have an account. But if you have an account, you simply click on already have an account. So to register, I'll put my email here and, I, and I'll click on continue. Then input my password. Then it will send me to the Discord as you can see here. And a verification link will be sent to my email as you can see here. So once I click on verify, I'll be able to go to the dashboard for Blue Willow. So, so this is now the dashboard after you have verified on that. And this is now the dashboard for Blue Willow. It may look complicated, but it is very easy to use. Now you can create channels on this side. For instance, I have already created three, three channels, Josh Kenya, to create a channel. You simply click on this, you add server, click on that, and then you can click on create my own. Then you can choose one, is it maybe for my friends? I click on, or is it for a club or community? In this case, I click it's for me and my friends. I click that, then I can give the server's name. In this case, let me call it Kenya1, One. Kenya One. Then I click on create. And there we have it. I now have my channel here, Kenya One. So I can now use this channel if I click on that. So I can now use my Kenya One channel here, welcome to Kenya One, to invite friends. And I can also personalize my server with an icon. I can send my first image. I can also download the Discord app. And I can also add an app so so depending on where i maybe want to use the discord app if i click on that i can select either mac os windows linux apple or android but in this case i do not want to download that so let's come back here to start now generating ai generated images i'll come down here where we have the Blue Willow AI, and I click on that, and it takes me to this site. Now, to generate an image, I need to use prompts. So I'll come here and use any of these rookies. Initially, we would have used rookie test, which is no longer available. In the previous version, we had rookie test up here, which would easily use so that we don't have to wait for other people who are using 
these rookies down here this rook is down here and i'm going to be explaining that shortly so if for instance i click on rookie 12 and i check on it you notice the as down here you can see there are several people typing that means if i want to generate an image it might be mixed up with all these 12 people who are typing down here and you notice here we have 61 new messages since 147 62 new messages and they'll keep on increasing they are now 63 but since they removed the rookie test we cannot use it anymore even if i type here rookie test you notice i only get rookie test for rookie groups that have already been created but that should not worry you because we are still able to use this only that now you know your message will be swallowed in between these others but you'll still be able to easily locate that and i'm going to be showing you that so to generate your image choose any of these rookies here let me choose maybe rookie 17 and to generate an image i come here and create my prompt so i put my prompt or the command forward slash then i type imagine and it gives me this prompt i click on that imagine then prompt i click on that then now here i type the image that i want to generate so in this case let me say i want to generate the image of a, a cheetah on a tree so i'll type a cheetah i write a cheetah on a tree then i click enter then i give it time you notice we have so many other images getting generated by other people so i wait until the time i see my image so you notice there are many images being generated so i wait until i get my image and there it is so i've already seen my image so I just scroll up slightly to where my image was and here it is so we have the image of the cheetah on a tree to use this image i can click on open in browser and then now i can right click and then save image if i do that now i'm able to download my image i click on save my image has already been saved so if i come to my pc then i double click on that there is my image let's just do for one more image so if now i want another image i click outside this image so that i can get back to the rookie group let me this time use rookie 18 i just click on that then you notice it's saying you are viewing older messages so i want to jump to present so that once my image is generated i'll be able to see it so now we have the current image being generated but it will keep on changing so to generate my image i put the prompt so then i click on that imagine prompt then in this case let me just generate the image of a blue cow and a laptop a blue cow and a laptop then i click on enter then i give it time until the time i'll see my image and there we have it so once you see your image just click on it and there we have our blue cow with a laptop so again if i want to use this image i'll open it in browser and then i'll be able to download it so that is simply how you use blue willow to generate powerful images i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel